What's up YouTube, Chris here with Trust 360 um, Today I'm actually going to bring you my first Mac OS X tutorial. Um, this is how to get live wallpapers for your Mac. Um, you know, this default wallpaper you see here, it's very plain, you know, no really coolness, I guess you can say, to it. Um, but um, first off, before I get you know started with this tutorial, I want to apologize for not uploading since February. Um, I've been very busy with college, work, things like that. I'm getting you know five hours of sleep every single night, so it's really hard to find time to actually squeeze in a video. But luckily, I have found a couple of minutes today to squeeze in this really cool tweak video for your Mac. Um, there are a lot of Mac users I've come to conclude that follow my channel. A lot of them have been commenting, is there any way to do this on Mac? And uh, I thought, you know what, why not create a Mac series to show you guys new things that you didn't know you could do with your Mac. Um, before we do get started with this tutorial again, like I said, um, I haven't you know, uploaded in a while. I won't upload any Call of Duty glitches, mods, anything like that until uh, Ghosts release. Um, because, you know, I mean... Black Ops 2, it's it's dying down, guys. I mean, we've got a month and a half, maybe less, until the next Call of Duty, so people are really, you know, not really playing that game as much. Um, well, you know, I haven't, uh, at least. Um, but, yeah, uh, as soon as Ghost release, I'm going to actually revamp my channel, uh, bring out the best quality videos you've probably ever seen, in all honesty. I'm uh, going to, you know, make sure all the editing is, you know, 100%, everything's on point, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that content when it does release. Um, so enough about you know all that stuff. Let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Um, so like I said, we're going to teach you guys how to liven up your desktop and actually have moving wallpapers, um, widgets, things like that on your desktop, easy to access. Um, now I am going to be downloading this app um, uh, to actually do this. You need to go ahead and open up your app store from your dock and go up here to the top and search mock desktop. Now it's going to bring up this app. Now this app is two dollars and ninety nine cents. Um, I did pay for it uh, mainly because, you know, I mean, it's only $3, guys. I mean, in all honesty, these guys put in great work developing this. Uh, beautiful, beautiful development, in my opinion. Um, there are ways to find this online for free, and I probably will upload a video on how to do that. That way you guys can get this for free. But today I'm just going to show you how to do it legitimately and, you know, get everything working 100%. Um, so whenever you come up to this screen, you'll click here where it'll say Buy App. Just click on that and then click Install. It's going to ask for your uh, iTunes information and it will start to install. Now this is a fairly big download. It's 714 megabytes. Um, so um, it will take a long time for me on my bandwidth, but I actually downloaded this at my school where they have T5 line. It took just a very few couple seconds. I mean, it, it was like nothing. So once you have that installed, you can go ahead and close out your App Store. And I'm going to go over here to Launchpad, and I'm actually going to boot it up. And as you can see, it's right here in my Launchpad. Um, you can, you know, scroll through. You can find it pretty easy. So just click on Mock Desktop. And as you can see, this is the desktop that I'm using right now. Um, looks like I did duplicate here um, on the weather, which is actually a good thing because I can show you guys how to actually edit all this stuff on your screen. Um, so whenever you have this started up, just go to your top bar here click on this and go to wallpaper preferences now this is going to allow you to change between different wallpapers that they do offer now that there's a wide variety of um, different wallpapers that you can choose um, but I like the Milky Way the best kinda keeps the Mac default feel but adds more life to it I guess um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch one just so I can show you guys you know the different ones um, Golden Gate Bridge is really cool um, I'm gonna close this out so you can see it's got the cars moving it's got a boat moving down here under my weather. You can't really see it. And it's got the fog actually rolling in. So this is, I mean, all these are really well put together, well developed. And they move so smoothly. It's, it, you know, when they loop, it's like you can't even notice that it's looping. Um, so if you go up here, I'm going to go ahead and change mine back to uh, the Milky Way like I had. Um, that way, uh, you know, I keep it the way I want it. Um, now, just go ahead and close this out once you find the desktop that you do like. And you're going to open this up again and go to Desolate Manager. Now this is going to allow you to add different widgets to your uh, to your desktop. So as you can see, I have the clock over here. And it's 112. So if you click seconds, it's actually going to drag this in here, and it says 38 seconds, and it's going to count down. You can just move it like this, and just move it wherever you would like. Now I don't really like the way the seconds is you know laid out, so I'm just going to go and exit that out. And as you can see where this is duplicated, we can just click on it and click that X. 
and it disappears. Uh, as you can see, there's Gate City, which is the town I live in. Um, you can, you I mean, you just add any of this, you know, to your desktop. You know, the day, the minimum and max temperature, sunrise and sunset, the city, like you're in, which is how I added this little Gate City symbol here. Um, just, you know, mess around with this. Uh, you can add all your widgets, get it looking how you want it. Um, so yeah guys, that's pretty much the end for this tutorial. Um, I'm actually going to have a follow-up tutorial to sh show you how to actually boot this up as d at the you know startup of your computer. That way you don't have to go to Launchpad every time and launch it up. Um, there is something to note about this. It does drain your battery fairly quickly because I mean it is doing a lot right there in the background. But um, I guess that's really the price you pay for having a badass desktop. So yeah guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. You know, comment on my channel. Let me guys know what you think. Uh, if you want to see more Mac tutorials, uh, you know, th that'd be great. Because I do want to upload, you know, tutorials like this. To, you know, kind of something different than, you know, all Call of Duty videos. So you guys, like I said, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Show your support by, you know, liking, commenting, let me know what you think. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.